The Sewage and Water Board of New Orleans had some explaining to do today after widespread flooding caused by Hurricane Francine inundated neighborhoods. Investigative reporter David Hammers joining us now in the studio. And David, do we have any answers for what exactly happened last night? Well, this is an antiquated system. You and I know this very well. We've been covering this for a long time, especially since 2017. And it's interesting because the system performed well overall, but pockets of the city really struggled because of those antiquated systems. And the most antiquated system is Turbine 4, mm -hmm. which is uh, 108 years old, a money pit, and all those things. They've, it's been out of service more often than it's been in service over the last 12 years. And it actually is working now, but they didn't trust it. And Gassan Corbound, the director of the Sewerage and Water Board, said that they didn't trust it enough, so they put the backup generators that were installed in 2018, the newest part of the system, in as the front line of power to supply the pumps, to work the pumps and drain the streets. And that power failed because of an auxiliary generator attached to those diesel generators and that then failed then every time it failed it took 30 minutes to try to get it back up again those 30 minute periods add up especially when you're getting four inches an hour during the worst bands yeah the water just backs up um, you know when we think about that the sewage and water board kept saying we've got more than enough power going into this system more than enough power going into this storm yeah. i mean they kept saying it over and over again put it on their dashboard you know it seemed like they were ready to go. That's right. This was probably their most prepared that they've been. And they had the most, you know, leeway to have failures and to fill in where, the, where it was needed. But when they had this process set up kind of in the reverse, they ended up losing power. They had the worst flooding in Lakeview that, that we, we've seen since 2017. Mm -hmm. They've had flooding actually that's continued into today at Oak Island subdivision in New Orleans East because of power losses due to energy power feeding the pumps in that part of the city. So the only solution to this is that they've got to get this standard substation set up, mm -hmm. a dedicated substation, the West Power Complex. That would involve a new Turbine 7, which would replace completely the antiquated old turbines. And that's the only solution to this. And Really, it's all kind of academic until they can get that going, which is now supposed to happen next year. It's almost like they have Band-Aids putting the system together. I mean, that, that really is what they're having to do, and they're trying to make sure that they have enough uh, <laughs> so that we don't, you know, end up in this situation again. But, right. uh, you know, what happened in Lakeview? Water well, really seemed to back up there. Pump Station 12 apparently went down for some time. That's right. So you actually have three pump stations that are critical to Lakeview. Pump Station 12, which is out by the lake at, at West End. Then you have pump station six that's on the 17th Street Canal and you have pump, pump station seven, which feeds at the base of the Orleans Avenue mm -hmm. Canal that then flows out to the lake. And all of them had problems. All of them lost some power to run some key pumps. 12 only has one pump and that went down. So each of those lost power at the absolute worst time, which was in that time kind of after 7.30, 8 o'clock heading into when we saw the last of the rain a little after 10 o'clock, the most intense time they lost them. And then each time they tried to get it back up again before they decided to switch to that old turbine four, they were losing a half an hour each time. Oh, and then it just calls that pile up. Okay. That's right. Well, David, thanks so much for your insight. We appreciate your reporting.